to delve into, and the cube are going to be starting on the CT side. They are indeed. Not sure that that's going to be a good thing. We'll see what Tyloo does out the gates here, but it looks like it'll just be pretty standard execute out onto the A site. They have got themselves a couple of smokes. I wonder if this is a counter read from the cube anticipating something in toward mid. If that was, then they will be proven incorrect because it's just going to be that flood into A. At least with that position towards mid, they got that fast rotation back to A. In the meanwhile, though, Cloudon's going to be able to pick one up onto Mercury. So with him out of the equation, and with Tyloo thinking that they've got CT control, they're looking the wrong direction. They didn't go deep in the CTs, swinging here, make things a little more difficult. Kami trying to put his life on the line, waiting for the flash in. And everyone's blind, but the shots just aren't quite there. ZDR going to be able to pick up one, but it's Cloudon doing all the work so far. Gets another. That's four on his way in from Con, and the first round in the bag for the cube. Yeah, wow, that was um, that was definitely a little bit of a wake-up call for Tyloo. There was a fair too many missed shots. Kami really struggling to get that frag. ZDR missing a couple as well. I mean, it happens. Uh, first round of the day, maybe just needing to get warmed up. But yeah. the people will be happy with that. Although, they did at least get a bomb plant for Tyloo, which means it is still going to be buying time. And we've got five Galils. Barely any util. They've gone for five Galils, Mac, and they've got two smokes. Look, firepower is what we were saying this team is going to have a lot of. So that's what they've gone for. Sometimes the force buy like this works. What have we got? One smoke going instantly towards top mid, which will allow a lurk out from Tyloo. The cube, they're not contesting. They're going with a 3-2 split, expecting there to be something happening towards B-apps, which there is. It's double unders, and Ammo might be able to find himself a flank if he keeps on pushing here. Yeah, they've got all this information. Fully clearing mm. out back apps or timing. Moving. Mosea is going to start to make his way back. Maybe there was a footstep. Oh, this Cloudon will only find... He didn't even get that one. It was Holy Sana. Yeah, ZDR's made a bit of noise there. Kami also seems to be aware. And this is an awkward spot to be in. So it'll end up being the one-for-one -one trade there for ZDR. And Tyloo have the numbers advantage now. Quite significantly, mm. if you count these two remaining cube members as individuals because, well, they kind of are. They're isolated on their respective bomb sites. Ooh. Fake plant. ZDR, sharp, gets the job done. Bomb has been planted. Tugu will more than likely have to save here on eight. I love that from them as well. Just clearing out back of sight with that nade before going for the fake, forcing the swing. Now Tugu might be able to get himself an exit here. Famous at range. Not the greatest weapon for the job. But a great tradesman won't blame his tools. And Tugu, not going to be able to blame anyone. He's been taken out of the round. Tyloo with three alive as they take their force fire of the gun round. And that's the power of a plant. Even though they lost that pistol, getting that bomb down just changed the game. Yeah. As it often does in this day and age. Around and the cube with a force fly of their own to try to make their way back. I think Tugu was spotted potentially making his way to that right side of window. And the cube seemed to be heavily playing towards one site or the other. This time it's towards B. And they will be wrong in that assumption, in that position. Only a single man Sonk here who is going to be hidden under the balcony. Playing in the shadows, and he's got a big job ahead of him. ZDR has made a footstep or two there. So where something is coming. It'll be a crossfire setup, not for very long. And that is well dealt with by Tai Lu. Maybe the pistol was a little bit more on the outer rather than what we would have expected, you know? Like, that definitely didn't seem in line with how Tyloo's been looking of late. But the gun rounds been quite clean, quite methodical. The Jam Young system. I wonder. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm honestly kind of, like, I feel like this is sacrilege, but I'm low-key liking what I'm seeing from Tyloo, even with this roster. <laughs> sacrilege. I just feel like I'm... I don't know, have, have I just, uh, well, I feel like I've just said something I shouldn't, but 
yeah, they're actually kind of doing a pretty good job, even with Kami and, and ZDR in here. So, I don't know. I won't say the future is bright for Tyloo, because they've definitely been... Uh, yeah, you can't have a lot of faith based on how things have been going over the last couple of years. But, I don't know. I feel like maybe things are starting to turn around a little bit for Tyloo, which will be cool. Enough with the cotton wool. I already said it on Twitter. Gone are the days of whatever the hell has been happening to Tyloo. All right, yeah. we're all happy. Advent's gone. Yes, he is. He was a difference maker. He was a champion of the Chinese scene. But times have changed, and he definitely fell off in the last couple of years. Even though he never fell on in terms of his firepower. Let's talk about that, right? That's true. Yep. So without the firepower, you kind of need to have four big fraggers, super consistent that you don't need a micro in this day and age of Counter-Strike. That's what makes an elite team. And with what we have here, there is a chance that Tyloo can now do that depending on how Jamyoung goes as a caller. He's been playing at the top level for a very, very long time. And when you do that, you should be able to have solid communication with a solid core of players who you're comfortable playing around. We don't really have a great insight into the chemistry of the team, but you can only assume it's good with how long they've stayed together, at least these three. I would tend to agree. But yes, it's the about, future is bright. It's just about finding those last couple of pieces of the puzzle. This time, though, you might have actually called correctly, but Tyloo will be prepared for the fact that there's going to be quite a few members on this bomb site and a sharp shot from Jam Young. <laughs> this one will be finished off by Kami. A little bit of ladder shenanigans. 3 to 1, though, for Tyloo. And they haven't really looked like they're going to put a foot wrong once they had the guns in hand. Bit more of a challenge now for them though, with uh, the cube buying back into it. I like that approach as well. Palu just deciding to be confident in their skill set. And even though they were walking into the stack, they just played it together and made their way through with you know, two casualties, but it's another round on the board. This round, nice opening onto Ammo, who was blind, standing in flames, and gets deleted by the uh, individuals at mid. Nice trade, though, from Cloudon. And now we see the Q backing into a bit of a 2-2 split here. Holy Sana hasn't quite spotted Mosea, but we'll go for that smoke off and a silent boost onto the balcony. This is a solid position to be holding that MP9. Mm, for sure. Couple of smokes though. Top con and window. Starting to cut off some of the information for the coup. And the smoke compartments will start to fade. And maybe that'll be where Tyloo actually turn their attention. Would not be a bad call. It's really kind of a 3-1 split at this point from the cube. Looks like once again Tyloo are going to read things correctly. All just comes down to whether or not Holy Sana can get a lot of work done with this MP9. He'd really been looking for maybe a couple of kills here. The flash is going to fly over the top, and only the one? It's not enough. Not seen there. Thought the silencer might have been poking around the corner, but he's playing this solidly, waiting. And Tugu as well, going to be able to chime in just in time. Solid defense from the cube as they find themselves a second round. Problem is, Tyler's economy already very strong with how this half has already gone with those three rounds back to back to back. Means they're going to be buying up again. So the cube need to get a solid, healthy win with as many individuals alive as possible to really stabilize their own money. Yeah, they do. And it's just a matter of time, maybe. I look at Tyler and I think they're going to bounce right back into it. Making their way out mid. Mercury will spray through the smoke, hoping to fish for something. Won't find too much. And the safe jump peak coming through from ammo there. They down. Ooh, Jam Young. Too crispy. Gets ammo as he tries to fall away. That opening fire loot. What are their protocols here? Kami. Nice onto Tugu there. Sharp shot all the way to jungle. And with a 3v5, Pilot with the position they're in, shows that they're probably going to go for the A split with a pick.
picking window or picking jungle, you know that that ace should be weak. Cloudon going to be able to find himself another onto Jamyunk. Doing big work for the queue, but unfortunately it shouldn't be enough for the round unless this 2v4 comes to fruition. And oh, that angle. Working out for Mercury, further away from the corner, so we see Sonk first. And now it's all up to Holy Sana to keep his mitts on the AK. Two kills on the board, looking for some potential extra damage to Tyloo. And what I was saying at the start of the round was trying to keep it healthy for the cube with a round win, and that round win didn't come to reality. So now we're just in a bit of an odd situation. And Tyloo, if they can keep four alive, even just three alive here, their stonks on the T side, the cheaper side, are going to continue to go upwards. Yeah, I mean, they might even find this last eight. Well. Oh, there it is. The uh, able to win the duel. Wasn't necessarily a favorable one for him, but it's bad news for the cube because, again, money's kind of reset. They're going to have to go down to just a sort of pistol armor buy, buy maybe not even that. 2.4k loss bonus. You wouldn't really be wanting to throw any money away in this round. So they're going to have to go for the full USP setup. And again, that'll be another free round for Tai Lu. This is kind of how a lot of their matches have been going with this uh, sort of iteration. Watch them play a few times in the ESL Challenge League. And they aren't really doing anything like too crazy. You know, nothing too flamboyant. Yeah. But they're just kind of getting the job done. Good reads, you know, good setups. A couple of clutches maybe here and there. But generally, it's not kind of coming down to those big plays, that, like the big clutches or the big moments. Uh, Actually looked yeah, pretty methodical, I'd have to say. Good setups from Tai Lu, and that is once again proving to pay dividends. What have they got coming up here? Oh, USB. A dream. And that's all it'll be. Four alive at the end of the round again for Tai Lu. And the cube, as you were saying, look, sometimes they'll throw some good ideas in there. I liked the idea of the mid stack. It was similar to what we saw on the pistol, but we got to see it activate. Unfortunately, activating against rifles can sometimes not go your way. And that's what we uh, witnessed. Three rounds of difference. And Tyloo looking to stack on six here on the T side. Looking like we're going to see some utility shuffled around, extra flashes and everything. Early top mid smoke, the new meta one. As well as a window smoke, just to make things a little more awkward for the cube. I'll crack open that top smoke. They've got two goo playing an the underpass there with the AWP as well. But in the meanwhile, Tyloo going for a faster push at A. It's a solid read, but will it come to get them a round? Oh, maybe. Cloudon is going to be able to chime in on Kami there. 4v4, Jam Young more through the smoke onto Con. And that's going to be some cracker shots. Mercury showing what he's made of. The AWP activates 2v3 and a shot for the cube. Yeah, wow. Well, um, a little bit of craziness one there. Jam Young just sending it. That's exactly what he needed. What a great flash, oh. by the way, onto oh. Tugu. And that is going to be an easy kill again for Jam Young. So, very much in the same vein. Tai Lu bullying their way into the A-bomb site. Cube looking to save a weapon. Money's looking pretty dire on that CT side. And... Now the half is looking pretty dire for them as well. It's 6-2. to two, It's halfway gone. A bit more than. And uh, no real signs of life from the cube at the moment. Terrorists win. Can he save again? He'll be allowed the effort this time. But Tyler, of course, going to be happy with the situation they're in. Already six and two. And five figures in the bank of Mosea. Investments going pretty damn well. Uh, for everyone else, they're pretty rich too. And the cube, you can't say the same thing. They're just going to be going down to some deagles. Trying to have some improved firepower around the M4 that was saved from the previous. We're going to see a... 1-2-2 two, two split, still more presence towards short here. Tugu, nice little jump through window. And the movement allowing to find a pick at top mid. Mosey seems to be cognizant of that, but I don't know that ZDR is. The trade should come through here and will. 
Rule not getting away with more than it's deserving. This is kind of what I'm saying about Tai Lu. Like, again, like, it's... It's nothing fancy, but it's good mm. spacing, good setups. There's always a couple of members there ready to go. Almost starting to feel a little bit more esque in that sense that you're never really taking a fight with one player anymore when you're playing. It always feels like there's probably one or two, you know, two or three kind of in the same vicinity. And if, you know, the worst occurs, it'll come down to a trade. So, I like it from Tai Lu. And I know it's easy to do that against these teams that are sort of of a bit of a lesser caliber. But you've got to start somewhere. It's almost a good period for Tai Lu to be playing against these teams, right? While they're just sort of working things out. Get some uh, confidence underneath the legs of Jam Young. It also, look, they're looking super structured. And do you have any idea if Kami's going to go back to coach? I would imagine that he is. Yeah. yeah, okay. Like he's not going to be playing, and and he hasn't been released from the team. I can only imagine he's going to stay there as coach. Okay, okay. That's that's cool. But having your coach in the server, especially when you've still got as much firepower that we see Tyloo having, even though it is, you know, an online game against a team that they should definitely on paper be better than, it can help, you know. Can't we just making reads, making calls? Like, this is what we're doing this round. All right, we've got picks here. Easy protocols we're going at we've got two picks there if they rotate it there we're going to kill them anyway and that's what we're seeing and kami's holding his own and i'm going to say it even though it's an online game against the tube better than what we ever saw advent doing <laughs> well yeah, i mean advent had his moments come on yeah, very few advent the goat yeah the goat <laughs> he's the goat he's the goat without horns yeah the adventure <laughs> I want to believe, but I'm letting my jaded side out tonight. I'm sorry. I'm just so happy. I want, like, I want these Chinese teams to look nuts. I want them to be able to compete with European teams. That's what I want to see. I've been watching way too much Pro CS lately, and when you just watch the Asian teams sort of fumble, like some of them, obviously Mongols have been doing really well lately. It it's hard, right? You can't tell me it's not hard to to watch. But when you see like Mongols doing well against some big name teams, you know, going up the, the leaderboard, same as FlyQuest, we'll throw them in the mix because technically they're an Asian team as well. Uh, Greater Asia. Yeah. We just want to see that improvement. And if Tyloo start to improve, if the whole scene starts to look better again, as CS2 starts to get figured out, well, it's only a damn good thing. And with this push up short, Kami going to be able to get that solid trade, Jam Young. Onto Cloud and over towards mid as they push their way up short and sonk. Kami's he's a, a little while away, but he's going to give it a crack. Eight and four. He's got three kills in the round, man. You'd never get that kind of gameplay from Advent. You wouldn't. That's what I'm saying, man. Trade game spacing. Just bloody good. The only time we ever saw Advent go ham was like that one time against Vertex. All right. And then like another time in the last year since then. I remember you, someone posting his... Like one good HLTV rating game. What do you think? We need to get some insight onto what his like psyche was in the team. If he kept it unstable. Yeah. I don't reckon. I don't reckon, bro. I mean, I have what? no idea. I think he was probably a pretty negative influence. Yeah. Okay. Well, that might be a difference maker. You know, just people having a bit more fun. Like you saw Lin Vision as well. Obviously, different team, different ages which might help, you know, being a bit younger. But just not taking it so seriously when things go wrong, just having a laugh, yelling, doing all that sort of fun Counter-Strike, LAN-esque, grassrootsy sort of stuff to just have fun, even though, you know, sometimes things go wrong, they just laugh it off. Yep. And then it's when the experience things start to change. Now, there's still plenty of experience here, but the overall age, I'd say, is a lot lower with just Jam Young, Mercury, and Mosea here. ZDR's young too, right? Or uh, yeah, I think I think he is. Look, Tyloo. Yeah. A bit of tapping through the smoke has worked out. ZDR, the eighth, not the plate on HLTV, but this round is starting to go a little bit pear shaped for Tyloo. It's gotten a little bit messy. I think the wheels kind of fell off after that first kill. 
not nearly as clean looking from Tyloo in that round as what we've been used to. It's not going to affect them all too much, though. As we do have plenty of money for a bite. Sorry, I'm digging. I'm, I'm going down the Google. I'm trying Let's to find some deep. age here, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not showing. Maybe chat can help us out in like five minutes or whatever the delay is. <laughs> when it catches up, surely someone will know. But look, Somebody. this half looking pretty stellar. Sonk with a reactive flash at the ready. Did want to help out the mid individuals, but it's a full a site X, he's seven bits of util, dumped like it's nothing, and only Sonk here to try to hold. He won't be able to get anything done, ending the half on two kills for him. But can they find a fourth round here for the cube? Spray coming through, but on the reload, there's timing for Jam Jam to get a nice open plant on the dangerous side of triple there. And we're gonna see a push straight through. Mosea, Jam Young, Terran, heads taking names. And now it's up to Holy Sana and Ammo to try to get this one back. I mean, just look at this from Tyloo, like, it's coordination and cohesion that we've not really ever seen before. Uh, that's not gone too well for them, but we'll see if Ammo can manage to salvage anything in the round. He doesn't really have time to be messing out here at all, and so 9-3 to three at the end of the first half, a solid start for Tyloo. Alrighty, heading into that second half, it is 9-2-3. Tai Lu are feeling pretty good at the moment. 
Dualies for Mercury. Everyone else is just going to roll out with the USBs and ZDR. Well, he has to be very quick getting on a balcony there because the Cube have not stopped holding their W keys. And in fact, they're getting some heads as well. So, kind of beating Tai Lu a little bit with pace there. Did not give them any chance to really set up on the A bomb side. And so that will result in a bomb plant. 3v3 for the retake. No util left as Jamie undrops that smoke. It will be good for the moment. Not sure if there's a kit somewhere. Can't see it. If there is, Ooh. and it's just going to be the shots that matter anyway. You might not need a kit if you get on the site too quickly like that. Smoke going to be going down. Denying vision to the bomb. Kami sticking it, tapping it, falling off, and trying to go for the kill instead. Holy Sun off here. Reload is going to lift for maybe <laughs> long enough. Is there time? I think so. Uh, just barely? I don't know if... I mean, Mercury is on his bike. He doesn't want to lose those duelies if there isn't enough time. The defuse does come through, though. It's all good. They got there in the end. 19, by the way, according to LassieBoy22 in the chat. Thank you, Lassie Boy. Youngster. Up and come up. Yeah. I mean, I like it from Tyloo. You know, I, I think... Much as I'm a fan of uh, of Advent, you know, ironic as it is, um, you know, I think he had a great contribution to Chinese Counter Strike over the years, and oh, 100%. obviously Kaze as well, and Orman, you know, Zoking, like these OG guys that were in that Vichy roster. Um, you know, it wasn't working anymore, right? And at a certain point, you kind of just have to pull the pin and try something different, and that's what Telly was going to go ahead and do now. I think I think that's the right move. Maybe it won't work, but at least in terms of the uh, the decision, I don't think it's a bad decision to try to make a change here. Well, let's see if they can change the course of this map. At least if the cube can. Making their way to con. Looks like that jump might have been heard. You can see Mercury watching the edge of the smoke, expecting a push out towards the stairs, which will be happening at any moment. Unless they just full fade it. Cloud and sitting in the open. Over to the top. Mercury going to be able to split the difference. A 2 for 2. And the cube start to make a bit of a hullabaloo. But they will get torn apart. And it's just Sonk here to trade for one. But a 1v2. And he's not having the best performance so far. Looks like he's tried to sell the fake. Or the rotate the whole way back. And he's done so. Perfectly timed rotation back towards A. Here's the footsteps up mid. But with Mosea making his way to CT, I don't think there's any planting here. No. Jam Young will spot him in a second. Or maybe not. But Mosey's going to get the job done. Easy as you like. So Cube, look, they get another bomb plant. So they're still getting something out of it, but... They're running out of time. This is the 11th round now for Tai Lu. I'd say the second half of the rounds have been a little bit closer. At least they felt a little bit closer. But at the end of the day, they're still going over to Tai Lu by and large. Too good. That window smoke. Uh, decides not to throw it. Let's see if the cube go a little later towards mid instead, or if they're just going to go dry. Just wait now that initial util. Hey, Chi towards top mid. No smokes here. But Tyler's going to keep on pumping them, and pump them they do. <laughs> Down to half. Sonk gets a quarter of his health taken from that one. One for one as a refrag comes through, but mid control going to be taken by the cube. Oh, okay. Mosea has decided to fully push apps, flank unders before they had any idea that He's that could out. be a situation. And Kami, in the meanwhile, has pushed through a main. So they have so oh, much it. information. I love it. Look at this. I wonder if the cube are going to be a little bit too slow, though. Oh, my word. This is lovely. MP9 3K. Here we go. Who's he first? Oh, eyes on him. Doesn't matter, though. Kami's gotten almost the entire job done himself. Ammo low. He's not sure where to go. What do you do in a situation like this? It feels like everywhere that you head is fraught with danger. But he might actually be able to thread the needle if he goes in through mid. Particularly if that rotation is going to be heard. 
It's not quite close enough to hear it yet. Rosie. Oh, did he spot the gun? Someone on his team surely spotted the gun. Yeah, definitely. And patience is a virtue. Nice line, that one as well. Covering his right side to get on the tight line. Anyone further away from the corner could see him if they weren't crab walking into the line, but the cube went slow instead, and now they're dead. 12 to 3. Ty Looney just one more to close things out here, and the cube have not shown us too much here on the T side. Where are they going? 2 Tyloo thinking maybe they need to put more numbers towards mid here. Late short support going to be coming through, but it might not be needed. Mercury helps out ZDR there to take out the first ammo on the ground. And now just delaying utility. Back towards Pal with a bit of information. Bomb still in spawn, and the cube have to go back and get that at some point. Cloudon may be doing that. Tugu, though, going to put his hand up to try to get ooh, the cube back in the round, but he snuck his way to sandwich. gets the better of Mercury, though. Well, apparently he does, and ZDR... He's actually got to be a little careful here with the extra player on shoot for him. Oh, my word! What is that shot? <laughs> Fair enough. Cube have the A site. It's not over yet. Ty Lu with the classic 12-round choke. Bomb has been planted. We'll see how true that statement gets. For the moment. Felt like there was a bit of miscommunication. I think it was Mercury and Mosea, whoever it was there at jungle holding the line. ZDR goes for a swing on his own right next to him rather than just trying to hold a similar one or play off his teammate. And things go south real quick from that moment. But uh, it's just one round. And then there's eight more before the cube find themselves overtime here. Money a factor, and Tyloo's still got plenty of it. So we are going to see them buy up again. Yeah. Well... Well, they got plenty of it for, for, yeah, for it one a, person. Uh, plenty of it was maybe a bit of a stretch, but... Let's see what Mosey can do. Swing shot come through. And he won't really be able to do too much with that off now, it seems. Mid is taken for the cube. Well, they're not messing around in this one, are they? A lot yeah. of util usage early on in the round from the T side. Another resmoke in for the window. But they'll be happy with the map control they've taken. And now it's just a case of try to avoid Mosey. Try to avoid ZDR. Uh, Mercury's been able to clear out a ramp as well. So Tyler have some tricks up their sleeve as well. Thought up the better of that one, but Cloudon finds two with a nice little M4A4 spray. Kami set the fall there. Oh, and Mosea makes work of the glass cannon. Slides that shot straight over Apex onto the noggin of Holy. 4v3. A relatively unwinnable round for Tyloo. And with how expensive yeah. the force was into this one, they're probably just going to be saving. <laughs> oh well it's just classic Tyler, isn't it I don't know how many games I watch of theirs that they go to like 12 11 12 rounds and then just lose a random round it's good to see that it happens against the weak teams as well you know it's not just a it's not just choking important matches it just happens all the time yeah still early days in the second half and the good thing as well about, you know, saving on the CT side is you still get money into the next. So, Mosea can drop someone if they want to turn this into an extra force. Jam Young, in the meanwhile, took a lot of damage there at mid, but got his mitts onto one of the AKs poster. That's a dub. Yeah, it's a huge dub, actual. I think they still save for the next one, though. Play the long game. Don't force, don't ruin your chances here. Kami's been dropped. That Deagle and Mosea going for the Kevlar as well as Jam Young to maybe give themselves an extra shot or two here. 
with the uh, with the AK. Jam Young makes his move, makes the jump over towards the short, and up Caddy goes, finds some impact, and gets out, gets more. Oh no. This could be it. Yeah, it, it's very much the exact same take that the cube had for mid in the previous couple of rounds, and this time Tyloo well set up to deal with it. Bit of a an easy flash for Jam Young to dodge, and nobody clearing him out from behind that smoke. But, ooh. Holy son, I'm not able to find the timing. So 2v4. You have to think here is where the run ends for the cube on Mirage. Bit of a standoff there between the window player and the mid player, but it does end up going to Mercury, who now also will have to deal with Cloud, and he probably doesn't even really want to take that fight. Rather, let Cammy oh. maybe have a little bit of a look. That, though, is a sharp shot. Hello? Ace uh, clutch? 1911. He has been the pick of the bunch. Molly spreads? No. Oh, oh it does. All right, you still have to get past Mosey. Oh. Oh. oh! And, oh, unfortunate for Mosey not to hit the killing blow, but might have just done enough there with that tag. Down to 16 <laughs> HP now, Cloud and he's... Oh. Ballsy, but I'm not sure if that was the play. Either way, 13 to 5 is the score, and Ty Lu will finish off map one with the dub. And it's very much in line with what we were talking about in that pre-match, isn't it? Right? Yeah, they're they're actually looking pretty good, even despite having this kind of weird amalgamation.